Hello everybody, welcome back to something, um, well, a little different, when it finally decides to pick up the source. There we go. Star Wars Lego, apparently, is what we're doing today for, like, only a couple hours, kind of have to fit it in, which is why we started, like, super early as well. So, uh, might only be, like, an hour and a half, but I thought it'd be something fun, something kind of chill to do after yesterday's stream where we got kind of a little bit heavy <laughs> in some areas. So, uh, I've never... Oh, right, yeah, I have to press, like, weird buttons to get the controller to work. Forgot about this weird thing. Nope, oh, it's just not allowing me to use the controller at all now. Ugh, fucking big picture on Steam, man. What a goddamn mess. <laughs> Why is this just not working now? I can control the menus, you can hear the, like, awful clicking noises, right? But apparently just no, no in-game control at all. Right, I guess we play this with a fucking mouse and keyboard for no reason. Thanks, Steam, you big dick. It's kind of weird seeing the Star Wars logo and not hearing the actual Star Wars theme. <laughs> like, we just have knockoff royalty free Star Wars music. Because, uh, every bit of Star Wars music is copyrighted. Understandably, it's beautiful. Jedi Master Obi Wan Kenobi has traveled to Geonosis in pursuit of the bounty hunter Django Fett. However, he has been captured by Count Dooku, the leader of the Separatist conspiracy against the Republic. Anakin and Padme receive Obi Wan's distress signal, but they have two have been captured. Oh, is this the arena? Is that where we start off in this game? Oh. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> sure, I have no idea what the controls are going to be like on the mouse and keyboard. Yep, no kissing in my Lego games, alright? This is a wholesome Christian game, okay? I mean, no kissing, but we're fine with whips and chains, yep. Seems about right. I feel like, oh, Jesus, that was not a good close-up. Did anyone consider that design choice of the coloration of their, like, crotch region at all for this game? Maybe just a little bit? Also, that is not Lego. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> What are those? Press and hold K to force the accolade to Jesus Christ, this control scheme. Press and hold K? Oh, press and hold U? 
Oh my Jesus Christ, can I just get a controller to work? One second, guys. <laughs> Well, in a typical fashion, we haven't got a whole lot of time, and for some reason, none of my controllers will work. <laughs> so, uh, yesterday when I was testing this, I had uh, my beautiful PS4 controller with the adapter. Works fine. Opens everything on Steam, works flawlessly with everything. It's wireless, so I don't have to mess around with everything. All the buttons work. Which is beautiful. And then when I try and stream the game, they stop working. <laughs> Controller configuration required. No, it the game is designed for controller, funnily enough. It's a Lego game. <laughs> They're all designed for controller. Because, quite frankly, having to hold K and then hold U? While also controlling the character with W, A, S, and D. <laughs> now it works. Can we load the game? Probably have to rewatch the cutscenes or whatever. Well, this has been a mess so far. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not too far away from the mic. One second. There we go. I mean, thankfully, this game doesn't have weird control bindings on my mute key, so it's not just going to randomly... Um... Oh yeah, I can't actually skip this at all. Cool. Uh, well, at least we can have a look at another Genosian penis while he's running out of a... Weird cell. Look at that! <laughs> why why did they do that? I can't unsee it. <laughs> They're all gonna have the same thing, aren't they? Oh no, there's a blue. What is this like fever dream of a game? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right. Um, anyway. I don't think I've actually played a LEGO game since, like, the Force Awakens? Force Unleashed? Awaken. Whichever one that tied into the new, like, oh god, that shot. Whichever one tied into, like, the first new sequel film. And I remember not liking it a whole lot. Because it has, like, a bunch of weird extra mechanics that don't really feel like LEGO games to me. Like, there was a weird, like, first-person shooter covered section or whatever, and it was just like, why is this... Why is this in a LEGO game? <laughs> I get they've got to, like, keep adding new bits and pieces. Oh, I see. I'm just doing that. Okay. Ooh. I made stairs. Yeah, it just didn't really feel like um, like Lego games. Or this feels much more like a Lego game. Oh yeah, she can just climb up the pillar. Ow! He can hit me on the pillar. Can I swap to Anakin maybe and do something? Oh, right, yeah. Gotta whip the thing. Now I can probably... Bo Never mind. <laughs> Problem solved.
Oh. Oh, I see. Press B when prompted. Oh, this is cool. It's got like kind of co op bits and pieces. Oh, it's like riding a horse and thing. <laughs> it's like riding a horse and uh, what was it called? Red Dead. You just have to spam A the entire time. I'm being shot by those weird bug boys. I charge them too. Yep. Nice. It certainly feels a little less chill than I remember, like, the first couple being. I think that's because they tied into, like, the, uh, the prequel trilogy or whatever. It was just fighting through the um, the ship and stuff is what I remember mostly. Glowing limbs. Mm. They just chop off its legs. Now switch to a Jedi character and what mind controller? Oh, I have to stand in a specific spot. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. I was just on its back. Where's Padme in this? Oh, there we go. Well, this feels kind of dumb. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Get an object. Oh, I've got to find Boba, right? Okay. Or Django, whichever one this is. Uh there's a block mechanic in this game as well. I just can't remember what the button is. Because I haven't played one in like... Probably like four years or something. What is happening? Okay, here we go. Right, I'm just beating up this dead animal. Okay, 
Okay. Oh, I see. The more we unlock, the more people we have on the battlefield. I get it. This is just... <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, we're helping them escape, not... Um... Yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, I've got to close them up as well? Okay. I mean, starting it in the pit scene is cool and all, but like, this is just a lot of shit. Like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, they're all just... Oh, okay. They were friendly for like two seconds and they started shooting missiles at me again. <laughs> Free play of that horrible <laughs> fucking thing. I don't want to free play that. I want to be as far away from that mission as possible. Hmm, 23% true Jedi? I'm not surprised. I got shot to pieces for most of that mission. I've never played this one. It came out in like a weird period of Star Wars for me where I wasn't like paying a whole lot of attention to it. I think I mentioned in the yesterday stream I've played like almost all the Star Wars games to some degree. But I've never I didn't even know this game came out. <laughs> oh uh Like a giant space squid? I don't remember that. <laughs> that was a cool ship design. Oh, that's cool. I just have to like build the Bob zone. Oh, I can go with Kylo Ren on it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't actually cut the stuff though. That's dumb. I can change into a generic dude who I'm pretty sure joins the Empire later. Buy is on B, by the way. The back button is the buy button. Mm -hmm. That's not questionable design that's going to make me end up buying somebody that I don't care about. Oh, is this one of the little vents that, like, tiny Anakin can fit through? Yep. Need R2-D2 to open that one. Oh, and 
of the tiny vent. Silver stuff's the indestructible ones, isn't it? I can break all the stuff. Use an explosive weapon to destroy silver like objects. Right, okay. I forgot that was a mechanic. Press F2 or any button to start. F2 is the join button. I love it. Oh, can we, um... Let's add me. Pretty sure that's a hook thing, isn't it? It is. Gives us money. Which murder pad me, that's fine. A bit early in the storyline for that one, but. What is this? I just murdered that guy as well. Cannot remember his name at all. I know he shows up in the Clone Wars, and I'm pretty sure he's an Imperial in Rebels. Admiral something or other. Yaloran, maybe? Oh. Oh, that's cool. I like the mission select screen. Oh. Do we actually have, like, multiple options? We do. One second. Just have to lean forward and my chair makes a lot of noise. That's cool. So we could go after, like, the Clone Wars storyline, or we can go after... Grievous. That's cool. Um, right, I'm just gonna take a quick, like, bathroom break and be back in two seconds. Hello. Right, um, sure. Let's go after, uh, I can't remember her name. <laughs> That's really bad. Isn't it Vash or something like that? Massage Ventress, there we go. Where the fuck's Vash from? <laughs> the beautiful world of Christophus. 
is held under siege by a separatist droid army. Hoping to save lives and prevent further destruction, Jedi Generals Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker have planned a daring ambush to turn the tide in their favour. Oh, there's more. <laughs> With just a small detachment of clone troopers, the Jedi prepare to spring their trap. I would try and do the actual, like, Clone Wars announcer voice thing, but never done that before, so it's probably going to sound horrible. Is this the, um, the storyline from, like, the very beginning of Clone Wars, like, season one or whatever, where they're fighting on the bridge and it introduces Ahsoka and stuff? But obviously, way beforehand, because this is Lego, and we have to add loads of extra stuff. Which I love. Oh, I can force something on the stairs. Ooh. Oh, they went away. Bring them back. There we go. One out of ten. Oh, can we do, like, the force leap thing? Grapple press Y to talk- oh. I just have to use the clone. Oh, that's boring. Oh, I'm going back again. Nope. Oh, I think I- Okay, they have grenades. Oh, no, I'm just dead. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, I can just swap to Anakin wherever he is. I thought it was going to be, like, limited, so I'd have to fly back across or whatever. No. Why is right trigger change thingy? Oh, I actually have to drag the thing now. Okay. I forget how these games work. Some LEGO elements can be moved freely by holding and moving. Oh, okay, so I have to plug this in. I'm guessing. Yep. I thought there was a, like, block key in this game, but I guess not. Oh, I just have to go over there and close the door again. Oh, Obi Wan, do something useful rather than just standing there. Need to break more stuff. Oh, that's how I break those. Okay. Plug this back in for some reason? Nope. Oh, although there is a mini kit out there. Aha. 
Oh, you can't double jump as a Jedi in this one? Hmm. You can double jump. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did the game just not let me? Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna waste all of my money getting this fucking thing. Oh, come on, it doesn't let you double jump unless you double jump immediately. That is the worst. Oh, God. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Get all my money back that I just wasted by throwing myself off a building. Bounty hunters such as Cat Bane can use these panels. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I don't think I have a bounty hunter, funnily enough. There are a lot of droids around here, though. Oh, I see. I have to find the doors and turn them all off. Except this game has no, like, block functionality, so how do I, uh, survive? Oh, I... Huh. That's awkward. I forgot to press my, uh... Come off, be right back screen. So, uh, I'm not sure how much you guys have actually missed. Fine. Wait, I just picked that up. How did he grab it as well? Oh, will they not attack me now because they think I'm a... Oh, he steals it back if I take too long. Let's see. Jesus, he actually chases you. I lost the helmet anyway? Oh, I guess he caught up to me. There's an explosive to destroy that. Where do I get explosives from? I'll just immediately lose that every time I pick it up. <laughs> oh, my, um, the clones have explosives, don't they? Where's a living clone around here? This is not a clone, this is... Hello? Clones. There we go. It's not quite where I wanted to throw that, but... Right. Did that do it? 
Apparently not. I forgot the shooty characters just have auto aim and just delete everything. This game has been quite so frustrating. I just remember them being incredibly simple, to be honest. There's a thing for a bounty hunter on one side. Do I need to get the robot's mask? and then pretend to be a bounty hunter or something? This is apparently a flaw here. I mean, they still shoot you even if you're wearing the robot mask thing, so they know that you're not a droid, so that has nothing to do with it. Do I need to swap to, um, is it Cody or whatever, the yellow one? Wherever he is. Does he have a special ability that others don't? He's gonna die in a minute when he gets shot by one of the 200 droids on this roof. No, he has the same ability as the other one. Which doesn't do anything. <laughs> Pretty sure that's like Dark Force stuff is the red one, right? Was I just like super overcomplicating this? I'll be honest, it looks like it. <laughs> just got bitch left by that guy. <laughs> is there still a droid walking around on this roof? There he is. There's a bunch of them over here, actually. Yeah, I was super overcomplicating this. Wait, why are we building another cannon? Oh, I see. That's why we're building another cannon. droids had to activate this panel. What? <laughs> not, I'm not quite following your logic here. <laughs> like, oh. 
Surely the panel inside the ship should be activated by, I don't know, a clone. Considering it's a clone ship. Maybe? <laughs> sure. Um... Let's try not to be quite so dumb for the next hour. I think is a, uh, a good start. Thinking about it, it'll probably be easier to reach that mini kit I found on the roof with like an R2D2 or. Does Django have. or Boba have flying? Oh no, I need to force the drinks out before I can break it. I see. Oh, it's, um, match the pieces. Huh. Different mechanic, I guess? Oh, you have to jump and then climb down, I see. It doesn't actually have a health bar though, which is slightly concerning. And she's getting hurt every time I do that, so I guess we just spam that. Oh! It's the Vader fight from um, what the other game was. I'm sure, one of the other LEGO Star Wars games has the same fight but with Vader. Is gonna go to that side now, too? Yeah. Heart or two in here, maybe that'd be nice. Not that far off, actually, having the um, the money can, I think. What is it, true Jedi? First run through, I'll take that. Oh, 
I'm sure there used to be a way to cheese it with the hearts, where you could like swap character and then kill the other character. Yeah, they definitely got rid of that thing. Oh yeah, I can um the X to throw lightsaber. It is, there we go. Break anything else that's there? Oh, I can, I can break those two. Oh, I missed out on quite a bit early on then. Damn. I have to break those two and then you break everything else. Oh, yeah, look how close we were on money already. What's that I'm breaking? Oh. Well, that's dumb game. You just broke something on the other side of the wall, so now I can't loot it. I'm gonna die instantly as soon as we go into the next room. Oh, it's hold X, apparently? Okay, I like that. That's cool. It's a nice little throwback as well. We're gonna fight us with our library? Okay, so this is just the first fight again. Except I'm gonna make a coffee or something first rather than attacking her, apparently. Oh, Jesus. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I need to, like, not over egg that. Because I keep doing that and then getting hit. Right, do that and then leave. Nope. My lightsaber. Back talk to Anakin and then I can't get hurt by it. <laughs> there we go. That's the solution. Swap. You leaving again? Cool, thank you. Oh, it's a uh, dark side stuff. Let's see. Okay. I wonder if there's been anything interesting with the books, like you could put them back on shelves or something, but apparently not. Come on, we're so close. True Jedi, there we go. Pretty sure that can't be taken away from us either, can it? Now that I've got that. Apparently I can hit these bookshelves and they break. Wait, did I see something behind that one? Uh, <laughs> that Indiana Jones hat just hiding behind the bookcase. I wonder if that's what you unlock when you um do the dark side stuff in the corners as well. Is there a can force under that? I guess book that's stuck inside it looking at it. Oh. Well, that was rude. Ugh. 
Oh, I could just throw it at her, apparently. Oh, I've got to build steps, I see. Okay. Well, this is awkward, like, mid-fight. Okay. What object am I targeting to throw a lightsaber at me? Oh, I see that. She just instantly kills me when I do it, then. Nice. And also, I was right. There is a block button. It's hold X. I should start doing slams and stuff. Let's see. Oh, and the bottom part of the legs is Lego. Normally, I'm not a fan of quick time events, but it would be cool if that was a quick time event. So it doesn't look like I'm doing anything to this leg, I'll be honest. hand is going numb. I don't think I've used a controller. <laughs> well, months probably. Does the game want me to do now? Oh. Okay. Wait, there's a thing for killing all of these guys? I mean, one of them fell off. Two of them have fallen off. Level design for this doesn't seem um, super well thought out. Like, stuff is just dropping off the edge. Nice. Also, when it does drop off the edge, it doesn't actually um, count.
I don't know where I am. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to be down here, I guess. Ow. This game is just chaos in comparison to like all the other ones. <laughs> Kinda love it. Oh, this is the Mongolian Mandalorian theme, right? Wonder what was playing in the background. <laughs> I like all the facial animation and stuff in these later ones. Looks good. Ah <laughs> yes, generic clone trooper. My favourite character. There it is, boys. We got a leg for whoever that is. Oh, we can break everything here again, apparently. What's this? One hundred thirty-two thousand blocks. Oh, this is like the generator room or whatever. Generator or engine? What are these? So there's a power cable that's not connected with me. Ah, and now I need a Padme or whatever to move that. I think 10 to open that door. Okay. This is going to be a droid one? It's something I'm not, apparently. Oh, who are you? Walk around on here. Oh, it is Padme. Let's go find out whatever this is. Hey, a red brick. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Requires ten million. Uh huh. Padme. There's something over there too. Oh Jesus. I do like all this random sort of off progression stuff that you can do. I get six bricks, I can open that door as well. Yeah. This one's already open.
already bad me. Oh. <laughs> my, uh... My wonderful web browser has decided to stop working again. Oh, that's a dark side plug? Right, okay. <laughs> Nope. Okay, we're going deeper <laughs> into the belly of the ship, apparently. We're in the middle of a battle? Oh, this reminds me so much of the um, Republic Commando, like, deck fight thing, because you come in from a lift on one side and you have to, like, fight across the entire thing to the other side. A really cool fight, it just takes... Um, you need 130 golden bricks to build that. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> that came back with a vengeance. I'll break anything on this deck. Oh, here we go. There's a bunch of boxes. And another lift. Jesus. How deep into the ship are we going to go? Is this going to take us back up again? It looks more like up than down. Oh. Okay. Oh. I think my internet might be dying. I like how that, um... That table had bats on it, rather than, like, actual bats. <laughs> Fast build is 500. Oh! Okay. I just hold it? Oh, I can. I have to keep pressing it and spamming it. What is that back there? Like a gold brick off in the middle. These uh, Star Wars squadrons when you can play <laughs> like a Star Wars the Clone Wars. It's kind of weird if I could just grind out points here just sat by holding down X. They could just leave it there unless you hold down X and it'll just shoot down all the ships. Because they always fly in from this side right over here. Questionable. I thought it would be like, oh, you... Okay. You shot so many down, here's like a mini kit or whatever, but nope, you can just keep doing it forever and just keep farming out coins. Why is there just weird invisible walls everywhere as well?
There's gotta be a way to glitch that bike in here. <laughs> like in every other game with a bike and a lift. I'm doing that in Saints Row all the time. In fact, the one in Saints Row you could, um... I think you could do it with any vehicle as long as you could get it in and get the, like, lift to go up. You could do it with limos and everything. Music's a bit loud, isn't it? I don't know why. Oh, I have to tab out. That might not be good. That might be real bad. <laughs> might have fixed it. Who knows? Um. Where else have we got to go? Um, right, okay. I'm just going to take a bathroom break. We're back in like five minutes, then we'll do another mission. So let's see if it's the... Everybody. Um, right, let's do a chill one. Who was it that went after, um, you know what? Let's just follow this story. Never mind. I was gonna say maybe I should go like do the grievous one if he's the one that was chasing after R2 and get like the droids and stuff unlocked, but I'm sure, we'll get something from somewhere. Sarge Ventress, Chapter 2, Ambush. Astio has been dispatched to... Ragosa? It'll just convince the... Oh, for fuck's sake, Star Wars. <laughs> Toy Darians to ally themselves with the Republic. Over Sarge Ventress has learned that Yoda's mission and has her own plans to force Toy Darian King Kata... Yep. Into an alliance with the Separatists. As Master Yoda ships near the small moon, they find Separatist ships awaiting them. Spooky. The... <laughs> it's kind of jarring looking at the Lego ships next to the just straight up Clone Wars ships. Like, just the ones from the cartoon or whatever. Weird. Why don't I just make them all Lego?
It's the thingy. The water boys, right? That's what those are supposed to be. Is this the weird, like, planet that's covered in coral and stuff from... I can't remember who gets shot here. One of the clone uh, Jedi gets shot on this planet, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, that's a grenade. Oh, that is actually a straight-up grenade this time, rather than the weird EMP that the other ones had. How do I order them to do things? <laughs> Oh, I see. I order them to do it by literally taking control of the character. I keep thinking about it, but I don't know if I've actually brought it up or not on stream yet. I was looking at something the other day. I think it was in relation to, like, the Mandalorian starting again. I realised that there are actually people who don't like the Mandalorian. Which is bizarre to me. <laughs> because to me, the Mandalorian feels like exactly what Star Wars should be. There are people who literally compare it to, like, The Force Awakens or whatever. Which is just... bizarre. <laughs> which, to be fair, I'm not, like super against The Force Awakens. Like, I kind of like some other stuff from it, especially Kylo Ren. As much as everyone took, like, the piss out of him being kind of a, a stroppy child <laughs> the entire film, it's kind of cool to see another side to the Sith. Because I feel like with the Anakin storyline, we kind of just skipped over the whole... Well, I wouldn't say we skipped over the whole angry thing, but the angry thing <laughs> ended in, like... 15 minutes or whatever, whereas Kylo Ren, you see that for the entire trilogy, pretty much. Yeah, he's in, like, a different stage of being a Sith to, um... Nice. The Vader, so I kind of liked him as a... Just kind of a different take on... I'm not sure a different take on the Sith, but, like, another stage to them that we hadn't really got much of before. Can I not kill these crabs? Apparently not. Should take apart the entire thing? Apparently. Go on, Yoda, you may as well take out that bottom bit as well. You horrible monster, just deleting everything. Take me up to the stuff. There we go. Any of you have a jetpack? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like an R2 or thingy. Uh, bounty hunter one. 
need rapid fire boy. There we go. You know, it just feels odd to me that people dislike the Mandalorian. <laughs> feels like the most Star Wars-y thing we've got since, like, the original trilogy. And saying that Rebels and Clone Wars are also really good as well. What? Please tell me this is a playable character the rest of the game. Just droid head. Oh, I see. Now I have like a replacement rapid fire by using the droid. Cool. I'm double jumping in this game, man. Awful. You just can't do it unless you do it instantly. Okay, how do I break tank? Oh, I need explosives. Right. Has silver bits on it. Where's Rocket Boy? Oh, he's over here. I feel like this one, more than the others, was specifically made for co op. I don't remember the others being, um. or like heavily. Oh, you don't actually do anything. Here, I think. I need, a. Uh, Super Battle Droid or whatever to break that. <laughs> yes, melee that rather than firing a gun. Oh. I mean, shoot that preferably. Ah, oh, yes, the cookie song. I forgot about this one. I think this might be like a Mandalorian battle song or whatever, but it often just sounds like he's talking about cookies. It's a little old. Oh, I need um, clones again. Well, that's cool. The rockets like loop back around. That's a neat feature. Oh, now I've got to fight droidicas. They're gonna all roll out of different holes. Oh, 
Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, they might. Red Droidica shields are immune to weapons. I just shot Yoda. Nice. Well, I've broken it now. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to shove him in the hole, right? Game literally have to reset him because I pushed him into a place where he couldn't move. Oh, come on! <laughs> I've not got any control over where this is getting pushed to. There we go. It's like standing exactly the correct angle to actually push him. I'm supposed to do about this one, just keep pushing him then. While he shoots me and walks back to where he was all the time. See, I dropped boulders on <laughs> What was that rocket lock on? Oh, I just need Rocket Boy back again. Oh, I'm dead immediately. I swapped to Rocket Boy. Oh, I need to push him, then Rocket. Good, my rocket just hit Yoda instead. Your little Yoda wink. That, some of these levels feel incredibly short and like there's not a lot of time to get the money and then you play one like the Anakin Obi-Wan one we just did where it went on for like half an hour and we got True Jedi we barely got anything on that one 33% yeah like a third of it I didn't realise we were like at the end of the level Yep, we got another leg. Good. Change system option now available. Wait, how many different storylines are available in this? Is it going to cover, like, all of the arcs from the TV show? Well, all the ones that were available at the time, I guess. Not going to have, like, season... Is it seven, the last one? Yoda now. Wait, is Yoda small enough to fit through the vents? Because he's, uh, he's a little boy, you know? Oh, he can. Nice. Oh, 
What's this one? Red brick detector. We do actually have enough money for that. But... Yeah, it's still bizarre to me that, like, there are people out there who don't like The Mandalorian who like Star Wars stuff. I mean, everyone's entitled to an opinion on things, they just... I don't know. I don't get it. Mandalorian's, like, my favourite thing in Star Wars. grew up watching Star Wars with my brother because he would always put it on pretty much <laughs> it was his like favorite thing when he was little as well the Mandalorian feels the most like that original trilogy stuff and then also it's done most of the sets and stuff are all in a real engine which is always feels amazing to me considering that's the game engine that I use for all my stuff Kinda cool that they use the same stuff. Kinda of confused how that works, to be honest. Why do I need to change system when I can just fly back to the previous mission? But this is a cool way of doing the thing, like actually having the galaxy map as the mission select. I really like that. Um, you know what? We might actually pick this up again at some point soon. I was just gonna do this as like a one-off kind of chill stream. But I've kind of enjoyed this. I don't know if I'll just play it myself. Who knows? It feels good to play LEGO Star Wars again, weirdly, because this is the thing that I was like... One of the games I played since I was very little, like the PS2 or whatever, <laughs> like... And I love LEGO Star Wars, so it's cool to play like a new... Kind of up-to-date one, but not... The weird ones, like the newest one, whatever it is, Force Awakens, I really i am not a fan of that. This one feels more like the classic ones, but just, you know... Kind of more up-to-date. So uh, we might pick this up again at some point, but I'm going to wrap things up now because uh, my food's ready. And then I'm probably going to do something else for the rest of the day. So uh, we'll see. But um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, just kind of a random one-off thing. I assume, like most things on the YouTube channel, uh, unless it's got Shadowlands in the title, it'll probably do terrible. But uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have had a good time. And I'll see you guys again um, probably tomorrow for some wow if you watch the Twitch stuff. So, see you guys then.